Peeps, Padawans, welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm Yoda Guru. Come on in, sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have a, a hot or cold beverage on me. Um, you do you, your prerogative, and enjoy what I'll be sharing with you today, which is another one of my past Yodaisms for Way Back Wisdom Wednesday. And when it comes to this particular particular Yodaism that I'll be sharing with you today, this was written over, like I, like always, um, whenever whenever it, uh, uh, I share with you on the process, it's always um, uh, uh, written over the course, or re uh, done over the course of a week, week and a half, and this was... Um, uh, posted on Sunday, January 4th, 2015. So this was about uh, six years ago, um, to be exact. And the title of this uh, Yodaism is um, Invictus Maneo. Now the title was inspired by a, um, a, a CBS show that's no longer um, showing now, but on only um, online or in uh, syndication, or if you have the DVD of it, uh, you very lucky because it's a, pr a pretty good show. It's called uh, Persons of Interest, uh, starring Jim Caviezel, and at one time, um, Tajari P. Henson, also um, Amy Acker, uh, Michael P. Emerson, and um, when, and the, the line um, Invictus Maneo, which is the title, like a, uh, a title of this particular Yodism, was uttered by a, um, a character uh, who played a um, the the villain or the anti-hero or whatever the case may be in how you interpret the character uh, Enrico and Colantonio who played Carl Elias played and um, in, in the series and um, he was a pretty good character and I uh, was rooting for him I didn't really like him in the beginning but he started out, he was growing on me and and uh, and Victus Maneo translated to I shall not be uh, conquered. Um, in, 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 it, it's, in a way, it, it, it was like that, um, the, the interpretation, it, it, it was interpreted in so many ways, but, uh, um, from what I understood, it was like, um, after researching it, it basically, um, said, uh, in my view, uh, from what I was reading, I shall not be conquered, um, and it sort of relates to life itself when it comes to going about day of life, um, um, ignoring the haters and doubters that come your way and that try to um, to basically uh, uh, short sell you um, when it comes to uh, uh, who feel that you're not going anywhere in life, but um, you will prove them wrong. Um, I, I, whether or not you know you uh, you yourself have doubters, um, uh, just uh, you go about doing do, you doing you and proving um, that you can you're gonna be, you're gonna make it in life and um, I, I me myself I don't know if I have doubters or haters but if you're out there um, I'm ignoring you and what, as we all should when it comes to having our own haters and doubters now before we head into this particular yoga I'm sharing with you do me a favor do me a solid hit that little yoga icon um, on that uh, right hand corner of my video, um, hit subscribe, become a member um, of the uh, Yoda Guru Gang Peeps Padawans of the Inner Sanctum, um, especially to those for the wa who are watching for the very first time and probably tear tottering on uh, possibly wanting to join. Who knows? You're, it, what do you have to lose? I uh, just do my own thing, do my own content. <clears throat> and um, I'm trying to, uh, to do. Uh, uh, some things that are far different than the other reactors um, right now, but and some similar things. But I'm just doing my own unique way. And um, hit that like button as well. Also hit that notification bell to be to be um, notified of any other uh, videos being posted on my channel for future um, for future viewing. And, and with that said, let's get into um, me, myself sharing this particular yoga entitled Invictus Maneo. Karina Barton once said, There will be haters, there will be doubters, there will be non-believers, and then there will be you proving them wrong. If you think about it, life is considerably interesting when you knowingly or unknowingly have haters who want nothing more than for you to fail in every aspect of it. For it can most definitely be a laughable situation indeed at the mere thought of an individual 
focusing on your life and making it their mission to be your quintessential critic. A critic that is judgmental, spiteful, hypocritical, jealous, angry, envious, or whatever the case may be because he slash she has nothing better to do than target someone who quite possibly hasn't done anything wrong except live his slash her life to the best of their ability. As I said before, it can most definitely be a laughable situation indeed at the mere thought of an individual focusing on your life and making it their mission to be your quintessential critic. Thinking about it further, you have to scratch your head at the absolute absurdity of someone being so bored with their life that they're metaphorically throwing neg negativity in their direction. The harsh and sometimes cruel judgments, criticisms, speculations, accusations, etc. spewed from a person's mouth or behind a computer keyboard with this being the age of social media. Essentially, you have to wonder why what an individual, or any individual for that matter, sets their sights on making a guy slash girl's life miserable, whereby making it truly enjoyable in theirs. Without a doubt, a hater's intentions are to belittle, demoralize, place doubt, embarrass, and certainly break you in every sense for the simple reason that it's purely entertainment, especially when it pertains to relationships. I think it's safe to say we know or are that someone who is in a relationship and you find yourself constantly defending slash explaining it from known or unknown people who don't have any idea what's going on internally. True, they may get an exterior glimpse of what's supposedly going on by way of social media and or word of mouth, but that's the extent of it. What it primarily comes down to is getting the whole story rather than putting together bits and pieces of it that may not necessarily be true to begin with. Let me ask you this question pertaining to haters. Who is more annoying, the ones you know or the ones you don't know? As mentioned previously, the use of social media has given people the opportunity to become anonymous and post their hater opinions despite not personally knowing the particular person in question. It can turn vicious in an instant because your anonymity is hidden from others to see. Of course, when it comes to certain celebrities like Kim Kardashian, you're given information on a day-to-day -day basis, so much so it's deemed too much info. Granted, the haters come out of the woodwork, whereby given a platform, knowing how much of a vain attention seeker she, along with her idiotic husband Kanye West, are, but that's the price you pay when you're in the public eye. And finally, in retrospect, there will always be haters in life. And as much as you want to try to avoid them, they'll make their presence known whether you like it or not. You see, haters grow stronger once you respond to them knowing how much their words have tremendously affected you. Ultimately, the best way to deal with them is just to ignore what they're saying or posting. Hey, by, what, by doing that, you rob them of any kind of power over you rendering them weak beyond belief. Personally speaking... I honestly don't know if I have any haters. If I do, all I say to you is grow up and get a life, will you? In the end, there comes a point where you just have to adopt a credo involving haters, and mine is the Latin phrase Invictus Maneo, and when translated, it's I remain unconquered. And there you have it, guys. Your gang, peeps, Padawans of the Inner Sanctum. What are your thoughts, musings, hate it, like it, dislike it, indifferent about it? Um... Yeah, just give, uh, if you do have any um, thoughts or like you like to share, go into the comments comment section below where my social media link is also there as well, um, located at. Um, share what you believe, uh, share your thoughts on uh, when it comes to the subject of haters in your life, if you have any, or if you know if you have any, um, um, because uh, it's a really uh, interesting um, thought about having people who are crit critics in your life that you may or may not know. Um, they come in all shapes, forms, and sizes. Um, those you, uh, especially those who are uh, hiding behind a keyboard, those keyboard warriors who just um, live to just um, uh, tear people down, even though you have no idea who they are and what, and you, know, they don't know you personally. So, an interesting and sad thought indeed. So, in any case, um, before we I end this video, do me a favor. Do me a solid, like I mentioned earlier, hit that uh, yellow icon on the right-hand corner, hit subscribe.
become a member if you're actually watching with watching this video for the very first time or any of my videos for the first time become a member and um, um, hit that um, um, subscriber become a subscriber and um, help my channel grow and um, and I'm very much appreciate I tip my hat to you if you do um, it's not a big priority but it's an awesome, it's, it's an awesome to see my channel actually my subscribership grow that's just me though in any case um, hit like and hit that notification bell to be notified of any future videos being posted on my channel um, with that said tip my hat to you and may the force be with you guys so later